I've been sick, I'm trying to get better. Lovely, I think just uh, from my chronic health issues, diabetes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> they like my face for some reason. Oh, the mic, the mic. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants my mic. <laughs> it's slobber. Camel time. One last call for simple carbs, so finish your hub caps of rice. Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks. And that was, of course, a cover of Semisonic's Closing Time, ruined by me. I am sorry. That will be the last singing I do in this video. I promise, so don't leave, because we are going to cover Foodie Beauty, Chantal Marie. You know, when she goes and visits the camels and she gets slobbered on, vomited on, it's always a signal that a new health arc is in the works and we are at that time of uh, the Chantal cycle where, you know, she maybe feels the effects of diabetes, maybe feels the effects of her chronic illness, um, maybe not. A lot of skeptics out there will say this is all just, um, you know, to cover something else up, for views, whatever. Um, but we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about edema. We're going to talk about a possible health hack that one of her family members recommended. I think I know what they're talking about. Um, so she came back after, after, absence and absence uh, with a live stream not showing her face totally sus Julia sound effects in the background um, and that was titled where I have been and what we're going to look at is her next live titled live in the Kuwait heat so before I do get started guys you know what to do Show me some love by slobbering on that like button. Maybe spit on that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Appreciate that. Leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Love learning from you guys. As well as I do have memberships. If you want to support my humble little channel that way, that is all linked down below. So the first clip I'm going to show is Chantel talking about her insatiable thirst, which is totally understandable when you have uncontrolled diabetes and she's talking about drinking apple juice which by the way when I was in end-stage renal failure one of the renal friendly juices not diabetic friendly renal friendly juices is apple juice and I would crave cold crisp apple juice I would put my little Allen's juice box in the freezer and have it and um, yeah I'm just drawing some parallels here um, but let's listen to the hack someone in her family told her to do so she could have her her apple juice take sips of water yeah I, I usually sip the water like I don't take big ones but lemon mint has a lot of sugar that's the problem I think once I uh, get my sugars more under control, then we can maybe work, think about that. I guess one of her beezers suggested she drink some sort of tea that has sugar in it. And uh, <laughs> Chantel saying when we get our sugars under control, um, Beezer who suggested that she'll have it without her sugars being under control. So lucky for you. My, uh, somebody gave me advice in my family that, uh, um, sugar-free Gatorade. You can have, like, I was craving apple juice, right? Like, pure green apple juice. And, um, because Granny Smith's just, they taste less sweet. But put lots of lots of ice to dilute it and have it with, like, cheese to, like, the protein will help slow down the, I don't know, whatever. But I'm still too afraid to. <laughs> so she almost slipped up there saying my. People are speculating probably she was going to say my aunt. We all know that uh, Aunt Phyllis had an indelible impression on Chantel. And she often goes to her aunt for advice. So what I think the hack 
the aunt or whoever was trying to explain to Chantel was when you have your sugar, your pure sugar, one of the quote unquote hacks is to eat food with it to slow the absorption of the sugar. So for instance, if you were going to have a meal, there could be a certain order you eat your food in, meaning you eat your fiber rich food first, uh, your greens, your broccoli, whatever. Um, and then you eat your protein and then you eat your simple carbs. And the idea is that the, the, um, fiber rich food that you ate previous to the other food will actually slow down the digestion of the simple carbs. So if you want to have a dessert, you sort of have this, this bulk before it to slow down the absorption of the blood sugar. I think that's what was, whoever was trying to advise her was trying to say, um, basically it'll slow down um, the absorption. Do I think Chantel should be taking the advice drinking juice at all? Absolutely not, but hey, that's just my opinion. Okay, ladies and gents, hold on to your cankles. This is the portion you've been waiting for, the edema portion. Um, so let's just take a look at it and then I'll talk about it. <laughs> All right, obviously I'm not a doctor, but I would say that's probably edema. So what's edema? It's basically uh, an abnormal buildup of fluid on the body. Why does it happen? Maybe you had uh, too much Chinese food the night before and your body is not getting rid of that extra fluid. Maybe you're in congestive heart failure. Maybe you're like me and your kidneys don't work and you do not get rid of fluid that way. But there is also something called pitted edema. And that's when the swollen part of the body leaves a dimple or a pit. A doctor will often check for this, um, especially at dialysis for us, they'll check on the ankles and basically they'll see how long the indentation lasts to give us the grade of edema. Now, most often doctors will check on the ankles because that's gravity. Usually you're up walking around and that's where water will pool. Now I believe Chantel lays so much in bed that um, the water actually has settled on her face. And have I had this happen to me? Absolutely. So this is me with about four kilos, which is about eight or nine pounds of excess fluid. You can see my eyes are swollen. My cheeks are swollen. And the reason this happened is because I had lost actual weight and um, we were not getting the fluid off at dialysis. Um, you can see the swelling in the eyes. This is after the difference. So yeah, this has happened to me. And could it be that Foodie Beauty's kidneys are compromised in some way and her body is just not getting rid of the excess fluid? Could it be her heart is not pumping efficiently and not getting rid of the excess fluid? Who knows? Could it be she just is overloaded with salt and her body can't cope, cope and is sort of holding on to all this water? Who knows? Either way, I would be concerned AF. I don't think she is. Um, because look at her, her lackadaisical attitude about maybe seeing a doctor, maybe. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go to the doctor right now? And the stream and decide what, where we're gonna go now? They open up somewhere, I think two hours. No, I think the, there's some that are open at seven. We, that's what I mean, like we should end the stream maybe and look it up and decide what to do. Okay. Yes, purple yourself to a doctor ASAP. Now for me, only way to get rid of the excess fluid is to actually be dialyzed, to be hooked up to a machine and get it manually sucked off of me. Foodie Booty with all her other symptoms, her nausea, everything else, high uncontrolled blood sugars with this possible edema, not, not diagnosing it. Um, yeah, get yourself to a doctor like ASAP. What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyways, guys, thank you for listening. If you made it this far, appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.